Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you another way that's just come out via Streamlabs Studio. How to get overlays on your Xbox uh, via Twitch, the app. Alright, so I'm going to show you what you have to do on the Xbox. And first of all, I'm going to show you what to do on the actual Streamlabs itself. <clears throat> so you're logging with your Twitch, like um, as you always do, just to go in. Obviously connected to your Twitch account. And this is what you'll come up with by here. So this is basically um, your project. You can create a new project. I've already got one number here. So I'll show you mine. Uh, this is what it is so far. So basically, as you can see here, I've got my face cam, which is my face cam there, my alerts. And obviously, I've got the HQGC because obviously I'm part of the HQGC. If you haven't, guys, if you haven't checked it out already, please go and check it out. It's um, a brilliant organization that helps streamers, help other streamers. Uh, it's on Facebook, go and check it out, HQ Gaming Community, guys. Um, but yeah, anyway, so it's basically like Streamlabs, it's nowhere near as advanced, but it is um, a very good starting point if you just want overlays on. So over here, you can see, you can, um, if I just move myself two seconds, um, you can see here, you can add different things, you can add chat, you can add webcam, you can add um, images, you can add anything you want, really want, to be fair. It's a pretty pretty good, obviously, again, you can add your alert boxes, which is there. Um, again, this is all directed, so you hook this up um, to your uh, Streamlabs itself. So if I click my alerts, move my box again. Uh, down here, it says disconnect from Streamlabs. Obviously, I've connect, reconnected up there. So you reconnect to Streamlabs, and whatever you set up on your actual Streamlabs.com, um, which we can have a little look now if you want to. Streamlabs dashboard, we'll have a little look by here now. Um, whatever you set up on here, so i.e. your, if you go to alert box, whatever you set up here, so all for your likes, your, your star goal, your followers, your subs, your bits, everything like that will all be set up here. You can literally go to followers and you can see them all be here. Obviously, this is my one. And if you really want to see them, you can test them and have a look back on that program and it will show you how to do it. So that is basically how it is. Again, you just log onto the website, you sign in with your Twitch, you add your pictures, you add your text, whatever you would like it to be. Um, and make sure you're happy with it. And yeah, so every time you go live, that will um, automatically put uh overlays uh your alerts and filters all over on top of your twitch um again if you want me to um we will go and have a look now at the xbox side of it what you need to do on the xbox so so yeah wait there two seconds and we'll go and have a little look so guys this is from the xbox point of view as you can see i'm on my xbox dashboard over here you need the twitch app installed um again this is just download it from your Microsoft Store and you can get it. So you open that up. Make sure you're logged into the correct um, account. Make sure you're logged into the, the the account that you want to stream from, obviously. So as soon as you go live from here, it'll pull that and it'll retrieve it. So it's it's basically, if a road's blocked off, it goes around it, basically. So that's what it's doing. So it's going from one point to another point instead of going straight to Twitch. All right. So what you need to do is just, again... Have a little look, it'll, it'll be on Twitch. Click this and select Lightstream, which is another one I've done another video on. If you want to have a look at Lightstream, it's a bit more advanced than this. Obviously, Streamlabs only came out yesterday for this, but now you can select Streamlabs. Um, my advice would be to stick with Streamlabs at the moment. Um, it's a lot better quality. The sound is a lot better. I used to have quite a, uh, I used to have a little bit of issue with Lightstream with the sound glitching out now and again. I used Streamlabs today on my stream, and it was very little glitching, if any at all, which is brilliant for me, uh, because that was one of my biggest issues. So yeah, guys, that's all you need to do. And then just need to go live, press start live, and then that's how it is. Um, that's all you got to do, really. Um, again, um, make sure the only thing you'll have to do is obviously, if you've got a webcam up here, the cam position, you need to make sure that is 100% accurate. Um we lined up with your overlay for your webcam. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it. If there's any more questions, any more help you would like, uh, please feel free to put down the comment section or go to my gaming page, Mr. Fatal, over on Facebook Gaming. Message me on there and I'll be more than happy to message you back. 
Uh, if there's any questions, please fire them away, okay, guys? Make sure you like and subscribe the video uh, if this has helped you. If it hasn't, then let me know how I can help you, all right, guys? So thanks again for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Peace.